What's up YouTube, this is the Prince at ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 6 and 6 Plus on iOS 10.2. So let's show you guys that I'm on 10.2 general about and as you can see right right there right there that I'm on 10.2 alright so things you're going to need it will be linked in the description so you're going to need Yalu that's the website that you're gonna download the IPA file for for this. It'll show you. It doesn't show you that it supports I, iPhone 6 as yet, but it does. I mean, so it will be updated so you can see all the devices: the 6s, the SE, and the iPad Pro. So 6s and 6s Plus, iPhone SE, and also the iPad Pro. It doesn't support the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus and iPhone 5s and those devices yet, but right now it does support the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus so let's edit that out and Cydia Impactor will be linked in the description so let's download both of these basically it's just like the 10.1.1 jailbreak so what I like to do is I like to turn off find my iPhone and also turn off the passcode lock on my device before I jailbreak so you guys could do that as well and this is in beta so do this at your own risk I did have an iPhone 6s that my wife uses but I didn't want to test it on that device so I waited till the iPhone 6 jailbreak came out so I could test it because this phone I'm not really using so you guys could do this at your own risk it's pretty stable but I just had to say that so let's open up City Impactor and if you guys have a two-stage authentication on your Apple ID then you need to turn this up turn that off for this to work or just make another one and also you need iTunes installed, not open, just installed. So City Impactor is right there. We're gonna drag the Yalu IPA right there. We wanna put in our email, our Apple ID. Hit enter. And you wanna put in your password. And then enter. And the letters do its thing. The app should just pop up on your phone momentarily, wherever you had space. So there it is right here. Just popped up. You could exit off of that. Now you want to tap on the app. It won't let you win, so you're going to have to trust it. So you want to go to settings. Back out. You want to go to settings, general. And scroll down to profiles and device management. And you basically want to find that one. Tap on your email. Hit trust. And now you're good to go. So let's go back to the app. Okay, you want to hit go. Hopefully that worked. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it does. You just got to keep trying. But it does support the iPhone 6. And this is a semi tethered jailbreak. So every time you turn your phone off, you're going to have to go back into that app and restart the jailbreak. But it looks like we're good because we have the spinning wheel right there. Okay. That, don't, that sound only. There you go. Definitely works. Soon as you see that. Go back in here. Not now. There, see there, right there. On our device, iPhone 6. Tap on that. Don't worry about that. Boom. Things are working, guys. That's awesome. Could unplug it. Changes. So scroll down all the way to the bottom. Now you can see iPhone 7. It, even though it does say iPhone 7, that's just a way I help identify the device on 10.2. Everything is up and running. We'll do the updates. 
all that kind of stuff. Install a tweak. Let me install something real quick. I'm gonna install Barrel. I see the substrate is working, so I'm just showing you guys that this thing is fully working. And again, you start springboard. This is my iPhone 6. So it does this jailbreak supports iPhone 6, 6 Plus, 6S, and 6S Plus, iPhone SE, and the iPad Pro. Support will be added for the iPhone 5S soon, and hopefully for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So let that reboot. There we go, you see that? Barrel is working, CD is working, everything is up and running. So there you go guys, Prince of ATP 101. I have some tweaks, video link below and also on screen at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to share and like. Peace.